Right. Look at the market. The market's at 21,000. And again, we made this point yesterday. That sort of equates GDP growing at 3%, not at its current clip of 1.5%. Every now and then we get a the pop. Average. You're talking about the, the average. The average. But it's an average of 3%. And the only way to get that going is through fiscal stimulus. Now, if they're going to keep pushing that's it back. That's the only arrow in our quiver here, right? I mean, that's. Well, that's we can't lower rates anymore because right, they're right. at zero to begin with. And, you know, the other thing is um, how much, this is where it gets tricky. Will they do. I think the market would like a 20% corporate tax rate. Say they don't get to, to the full 15% that he says, 35 to 15, they go to 20. But suppose they only go to 30. Suppose they... It's what you're set on and, and how fast right. you get it to, to Ned's point. Uh, Liz Harrington, I want you to react to something Stephen Isha was telling our Maria Bartiromo on if this whole border tax thing uh, falls through, which it looks increasingly like it will. Uh, this is Mnuchin earlier this morning. If the border adjustment tax is creating all of this uncertainty, you even have several senators saying, I'm not going to go there. I don't want any border adjustment tax. It's too complicated. Do you have a plan B? Well, again, let me just say, that's in the House plan. We're looking at it seriously. There are certain aspects of it that we're concerned about. There are certain aspects that we like. And, and again, when we come out with the plan, it's going to be a combined plan of the leadership of the House and the Senate and the administration. And it's going to be something that's focused on growth. And we will have listened to people's concerns, and we will have taken them into account. Hmm. You know, Liz, I read into that. We have no backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, it, does, it doesn't really sound like it. it it's interesting because it, obviously it's kind of controversial. You have people like Paul Ryan for it, and then you have people like Tom Cotton who are against it. And but all I these think manufacturing CEOs, they love it. It's right. more of their bottom line. Retail right, CEOs, exactly. they all hate it. But, but I, I just don't, it, you know, you follow this stuff closer than I do. I don't think the votes are there for it regardless. Right, but you know, I think when Trump comes down on one position one way or the other, I think he's got the power to move these people in his really? direction as we've exactly. seen before. I mean, he's, yes. he's really moved the Republican Party into his uh, camp on a lot of these That's different issues. And if he, uh, if he really comes down in favor of it, which I'm not sure he's there yet, uh, I think it does have the power to move votes because he has know. a real sense of where the voters are and how they feel about these. I don't issues. think the voters yeah. want higher prices. When exactly. They, and, and they I also think, want stuff made well, here. Yeah, but you know, listen. Let's be real clear. When you talk about manufacturers, manufacturers here don't like the some don't like the border adjustment tax because they bring stuff from out of seas right. to compile. But stuff. we're paying this, you know. I, it's I, not. It, it's not I those know, governments. Listen, right. I think this thing is not going to pass, and I think it won't pass because. It will be sold to the consumers as net net. It's going to cost you a lot more money. So then they're going to have to figure out how to pay for the well, wall. Well, and therein lies the rub, right, yeah. Ned Ryan? I mean, you, this has been this sold as a tax right. hike to pay for tax cuts, which right. is a little weird, but I, I'll, I'll work with it. But it's <laughs> it not going to happen anyway. So no. what happens? I'm not convinced of that. I'm not convinced of that. I mean, I, it depends on where Trump comes down on this issue. So you're kind of with Liz on this. If Trump pushes it, media. if the president pushes well, it, right? Yes, right. yes, absolutely. If Trump decides he wants this, he's going to be able to push very hard. And the American people are going to have to decide, you know, we are going to have to pay more. It'll cost us more. Does it, does it bring us more jobs? And the, the American people are going to have to decide, do we want to pay more? Know. If it needs more American I respect jobs, the heck we'll out see. of all of you and Liz, we'll you as well. But I'm telling you, I worry because you're making an academic argument for someone who's in a Walmart and sees the price of a good just surge by 20%. You really think this is going to bring back more jobs? That's, the border the adjustment rub. tax is going to bring the back rub. the manufacturing base of this country? I mean, this that's insane. I don't know. I mean, think about what he's doing. He's, he's thinking isn't, about... Isn't the administration's argument or that well, Ryan's argument, other countries do this, we don't, we stand out for not doing it? Is, I don't know if... Ryan's argument, I believe, and I could be wrong on this, is basically on a balanced budget issue. He's worrying about the deficit it going through the roof if you have massive infrastructure Well, let me ask spending. you that then. Then all of a sudden, right. this is dead. And, and, and I could be wrong. These, right. other, these, these other guys could sure. be right. But um, let's say that is dead. Right. Would Republicans still push through these big tax cuts and that at no. least in the near term aren't paid for? It depends. Now, this is where the president becomes a major player. This is dead. Does the president want infrastructure spending and tax cuts? And if he wants both, He's going to have to moderate both, including the tax cuts, which he won't do that. The he won't, and, and it means the market. He won't do that. He won't do that. But Liz, you know, the argument has been, I think, with these tax cuts, the dynamic scoring on all this uh, fancy language that you, you brilliant reporters who cover this use, uh, it's going to do the job, and you might get deficits in the in the near term that are worse than they are now, but they're going to get a lot better a couple of years later. Isn't that the argument that Republicans will use for going through? 
with these big tax cuts, even if you don't get this border tax thing? Right, absolutely. Uh, coupled with the tax reform and the regulatory reform, I mean, keep in mind that President Trump stopped $181 billion in regulations on his first day in office. Did Those he really? are just the hmm. rules uh, that the Obama administration were trying to push through at the last minute. Just by delaying that, think of the the size and scope of what that does to the economy and his uh, executive order to get rid of two regulations for every one. That will drive a lot of, of growth and we will don't know ultimately that, come. How do we know that? How, how do we know how much of economic growth? The, the well, I think she's there? talking about just looking at the market reaction. That's well, the, right. the, the, market, the market reaction is pricing in a 15% corporate tax tax rate and 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 getting rid of Dodd Frank. I don't know about these marginal rules on the side. Well, I'm just going to say this. I wonder, and this is the question, not for me, but for like Paul Ryan. Will you agree to the, all the tax cuts and all the infrastructure spending? That's a key question. Well, Ned, you touched on what Liz did. That that very, uh, if the president wants to, yeah, you will. No, well, I mean, I think Charlie asked a very good question. Can we? Get, can he get his infrastructure and the tax cuts? Something's going to give. I, I think it the won't infrastructure be the infrastructure. Is get the infrastructure back a won't bit. happen this year. It's it, not going to yeah. happen. Well, that's great. Then you get it's the tax not going to happen. If it happens, <laughs> it'll be much right. reduced. Yeah. All right, so well, guys, yeah, get the tax cuts, the markets, infrastructure get a little bit smaller. All right, now, Ned, this was the genesis for all these horrible emails I've been getting about being a naysayer and negative and looking constipated, <laughs> because I'm 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 raining on this market parade. All I'm pointing out is that it looks priced for perfection, but you seem to be saying not necessarily, right? Right. Yeah, not necessarily. We'll see. I mean. They're looking at expectations for the future. We'll see what happens. I'd prefer some of this stuff to take uh, uh, place a lot sooner. Again, yeah. the, more, the more time you push it back, the more excuses take place, the less chance you have of actually passing mean, meaningful reform and getting what you actually want. So if we push this back, people can have expectations now, but until re it becomes reality, I'm nervous. What about if it is pushed back, Liz? It's not a 2017 event. It's a 2018 event. What do you think? Yeah, I think I think it will definitely be pushed back to also 2018. Well, then the like market's it. selling off, dude. Well, it's, it's a mistake. <laughs> it's a total mistake. It is a mistake, and the market no, will sell off. No, I think it's a disaster. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> really. Yeah, well, yes. The well, well, what's a disaster? That it, it is pushed back to 2018. Net? Yeah, I think it'll get okay. pushed back. If it gets pushed back to 2018, and you're in a, and you're in an election year. These guys lose any ounce of courage that they might have had in oh, the first okay. place this when they're into, say, the summer yeah. of 2018. The market is pricing in the 3% growth. If you get this, that's the only way you're going to get it is through fiscal policy. If he's pushing it back. I don't think they factor in growth. I think they factor in what they net in their greedy little paychecks. Well, that's growth. <laughs> that's the way you work. <laughs> that's growth. That's the way you <laughs> operate. By the way. All right. Their, their greed is our greed. Yes, you know? exactly. Cuckoo, cuckoo, we're yeah. all there. We're all, we're all together. Yes. All right. Guys, I want to thank you very, very much.